Hey Pisces, thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel. I'm here to do a general reading for you guys. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Sending you peace, love, light, and protection. And let's hop straight into it. Is that the king and the queen of wands right next to each other, child? Oh no. It looked like it. You can have fire in your trust somewhere. That devil might come out. Let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. What's going on for my Pisces here, spirit? Thank you so much. I'm going to get six cards here for you guys. Okay. We got the Knight of Wands out here first. What's going on for Pisces? I just seen the star. Got the Ten of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. So I'm getting some good energy here so far, Pisces. You doing the work. No. Someone about to be in the spotlight here. Somebody about to be seen by a whole bunch of people. Ooh, we. Somebody here about to be seen. I feel like you're meant to be seen. So this reading is definitely not going to be for everybody. We got the Queen of Wands. <laughs> and when I said the devil, when I, said, I just seen the devil and the Queen of Wands together. I was about to, I was going to say the Queen of Wands and the devil might come out. Child, somebody in their creator bag, okay? You got the Page of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles. Eight, nine Pentacles. Seven of Cups falling right up under Eight of Pentacles. King of Wands here. Let's get one more. What's going on for Pisces? And we got everything is fine. You somewhere here is like a uh, major um, alchemist. Page of Swords at the bottom with the Tower and Judgment. Someone is an alchemist here. With this Queen of Wands and everything is fine right up under it. Let's see what's going on here for you, Pisces. Who's this Knight of Wands for Pisces? Okay, 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 okay. The Knight of Swords just fell out. What's this Knight of Wands energy here for Pisces, Spirit? It's like a boost of energy coming towards you, or that's in you already. That's like helping you get to this Eight of Pentacles. We got Temperance, Earth Angel Energy, Sagittarius. One more for the Knight of Wands. One more. No oh, identification card. Someone's finding out that they're Earth Angel here. This is my identification card. Someone is finding out that they're Earth Angel. <laughs> Someone is becoming into alignment with themselves, the Two of Pentacles. What's the temperance here? You are loved by your angels here. Let me just say that. And they are helping you take a leap of faith on yourself. And do what you actually want to do. You, you, I feel like you are automatically looking forward to a lot of greatness that happened to you. With the Ace of Cups at the bottom. Child, your angels love you. Your angels love you. Ace of, we got the Ace of Cups, the Five of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. We already got the Eight of Pentacles out here. So just know, you have a lot of people here. Mm, I don't know. We got, what's the identification card? Before I even say that. I don't even want to get into nobody else's energy. What's this identification card? Death, major transformations with the seven of swords at the bottom, seven of swords, five of swords. Ooh, wee, that's heavy energy. Backstabbers. <sighs> You're gonna have a lot of people try to come in and um eat off your plate. Let me just say that. Death card with the identification card. You are going through a major transformation, major rebirth. You are redefining who Pisces is. Pisces is stepping into a newer more high vibrational version of themselves. You can have Scorpio in your chart somewhere. You can have your North Node in Scorpio. Mm. What is Eight of Pentacles? What's the Eight of Pentacles? Someone doing the work, baby. Six of Cups. Especially when it comes to healing. One more for the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're about to be getting ready to do something that you did in the past life here, too. With this Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Six of Cups talks about past life energy. Possibly. You got the Eight of Swords. Eight, eight could be significant. Eight, eight, eight. You could, like, be stuck between something. With this Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, you could, like, be stuck between something that you want to do. 
Like you can be trying to figure out different things that you're good at, possibly going back to your childhood, trying to figure out some things that you want to do that like naturally make you happy that you can also turn into income. Or you just going or you just doing the work to clear out old ways of thinking, old ways of being, so you won't self-sabotage yourself with the eight of swords. What's the six of cups here? Something about something about a child could be significant. Got the three of swords. Yeah, you are healing from a lot of pain. Oh my gosh. A lot of pain. I feel like a lot of people are seeing a pain for truth in you with the sun at the bottom of the deck and the eight of cups. Yeah, y'all feel like you like you you somewhere here. You went through a lot when you was a kid. You really did with that six of cups, three of swords. And now you're healing throughout through the pain. You're transforming yourself. You're going through the dark side of the soul, metamorphosis stage. What's we'll the eight of swords? And you're doing the work. And it's turning you into an alchemist. King of Wands. We got the king and the queen of wands out here, Pisces. What's going on with that? What's going on with that? Hmm. You could also be a cross watcher here. Something going on with this king and queen of wands. I talked about them in the beginning before I even started pulling the cards. I seen them right next. They wasn't directly right next to each other. But I mentioned it for a reason. You could be like, mm, I don't know. You could know another king of wands or queen of wands if this is not you. Who this king of wands? Who this king of wands? Child, we got the double. I knew the double was going to come out, but it came out with the king of wands. Ooh, we all know what that's about. What's the double here? What's the double specifically? Damn, we got the ten of swords. Child, what somebody got going on? Five of swords, seven of swords, seven of cups. What's going on here? There's a king of wands here going through it. I'm not sure. Okay, so this will have to be for all of you Pisces. But no, this is not going to be for all of you Pisces. Because there could be like a lower vibration of Pisces here that's watching. That's connected to a king of wands and a queen of wands. Or again, this is for you, my high vibration of Pisces. I feel like you're about to get ready to get out of some type of connection here. Yeah, confirmation. So this, this is this for your my high vibration of Pisces. You most likely you're about to get ready to get out of some type of connection here. Someone is, is like could be feeling betrayed by a king of wands here. And like trying to work through the pain, get over that. Oh my goodness. What's this Queen of Wands? What's the Queen of Wands? Let me see. Eight of Pentacles. What's the Queen of Wands? I just clarified the Eight of Pentacles. With the King of Wands and the Devil. We got the Hermit card out here with the King of Swords in reverse, child. A Gemini could be significant. A manipulative Gemini. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They could be manipulating an Aquarius here. Investigating something about the Queen of Wands, possibly. What's the King of Swords in reverse? Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands. What's the King of Swords in reverse? Someone's very manipulative. Three of Cups. Could be a group of people. They all think alike. What's the Hermit? I keep seeing the Eight of Pentacles. Something about somebody's work, their money, their stability, their creativity. Two of Swords. This is kind of, mm. Two of swords with a hermit. Someone's going ghost on people. Let me see here. I got to pull from this deck a little bit. Give me, clarify this king of wands one more time for me. Damn, I just spit the deck on the king of wands. Child. Who's the king of wands? Empress. You could possibly be somebody's baby mom. You could be the uh, the baby mom or wife to this King of Wands. What's the King of Wands, Empress? Child, spit the deck on him again. I just seen the Ten of Cups. With the devil, child. The devil already came out for the King of Wands. What's the devil card, child? Oh, my goodness. Someone here is so manipulative with the tower. I don't know if you're dealing with the King of Wands or not. Look at that. Page of the King of Wands again, child. I don't think this King of Wands, like, maybe this King of Wands is the one that's going through it. This King of Wands could be going through something with uh with somebody else, or I, I don't know, child. I'm not too sure, but he got a lot of uh negative energy surrounding him, though. 
someone is obsessed with another person here. This could even be a third party situation. Like you could have, like, you could be dealing with a king of wands here who's obsessed with a queen of wands. Oh no, child. And someone here has an obsessive baby mama or something. Who is Queen of Wands? What's the Queen of Wands? We got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Somebody wants to put an end to another person. What's the Wheel of Fortune reversed? I just seen the Ace of Pentacles with the High Priestess, Pisces, Energy, Nine of Cups. Okay, so with the screen card at the bottom, Ace of Wands. Okay, so um, I'm picking up on a high vibrational and a low vibrational Pisces here. I just want to say that. A practitioner was paid to do some work on another person. It's not exactly out here, but I'm kind of getting it a little bit. Page of Pentacles here is about, um, you know, divination. What's this Page of Pentacles? Look at that magician. Somebody paid someone to do work on another person. We got the uh, Six of Swords. What's the Page of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles. What's the Six of Swords here? Sounds like somebody was trying to come up with a, a reason to get rid of someone to like, to move a child. We got the Demon card. That card ain't came out this deck in a while. What's this Demon card? Child, I told you somebody paid somebody here. There's a low vibration of Pisces somewhere in this. Five of Swords reversed. Somebody is, whoa. I'm talking about Aggie. And they are Aggie because this person, this is a shapeshifter energy. This is someone that is completely ran by low vibration of energies. With the Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles, someone pays someone to like do something to somebody else's livelihood. How they take care of themselves. What's the Seven of Pentacles here? Child, we got the Demon card out here. With the devil being out here twice. Somebody is ran by love, vibration, and uh, energies. Queen of Swords. We got the king and the queen of Swords out here reversed. With the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. What is going on here? What is going on here? This queen of Swords reversed here is definitely um this demon card that's right here. Somebody is teaming up with another person to do work on someone. There could be a group of people here, a group of, a group of witches with this Three of Cups coming out here over this Queen of Wands. Why the Queen of Swords reverse? Child, the Queen of Swords and came out here reverse. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords out here reverse. We got the Ace of Wands. This person is doing magic on another person, whether they're doing it themselves or they paying somebody to do it. What's this demon card? What is going on with the devil? Child, oh my goodness. Somebody here is working with demons. And even uh, someone here could be doing like Santorini. They could be going overseas to do magic. Oh, this shit gonna backfire on somebody. What's this Queen of Swords reverse? I just seen a magician, y'all. Like this shit is gonna backfire hard on someone. Six of Wands. This person think they're gonna be successful when when it comes to doing this, but they're not gonna be successful. This person is protected. Seven of Wands with the Justice. Someone here is protected. I feel like there's a situation here where a king of wands here is like dealing with two people. Okay, for my high vibration of Pisces, this queen of wands energy could possibly be you. This queen of wands energy is you. You come out here this queen of wands for my high vibration of Pisces. But I'm definitely picking up on a low vibration of Pisces here who is coming out here in this queen of swords energy because I'm, I'm feeling it. Or a low vibration of Pisces here pays someone... To do work on another person here who a king of wands that was dealing with is obsessed with. I'm kind of getting that energy a little bit. Like look what the cards are the cards are out here. What's this death card here with this with this demon card? Child to seen a magician again. Somebody's doing death magic to a person. Oh, that shit gonna backfire on you, baby. We got the five of wands in reverse. There's a group of people here that's getting ready to come to some type of end. Child. Ooh, we baby, I, I was y'all. I stopped doing this magic, whatever this is. What's the seven of cups here? Someone like trying to confuse somebody. Work. Someone here could like be a. I would double say somebody could be a tarot reader. 
someone's job could literally be being a terror reader here. And there's someone trying to put an end to that. What's the Seven of Cups here? Someone tried to uh, cause confusion for another person. Confusion in their readings. So they want to know about the situation here. We got the world with the Six of Pentacles coming out together. Something coming to an end. What's the High Priestess? Pisces Energy. We got the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, that was a High Priestess here. I told you it was a High Priestess. What's this High Priestess with the Knight of Wands in reverse? A High Priestess here was paid to do something. With the Eight of Cups. To possibly get someone to walk away from another person. To not come towards another person. There's a low vibration of Pisces here that's stopping someone from going towards a different person. This King of Wands feels locked down in some type of situation that he's in. I'm This is what I'm getting here. Maybe both of these people are very low vibration. This can even be a couple like attacking someone. What's the Six of Pentacles here with the world? Six of Pentacles with the world. King of Pentacles. What's the world? <clears throat> Child, the world just clarified itself, but in reverse. Someone's stuck. Yeah, this king of this king of wands. King of wands and king of pentacles right up under each other. Someone's stuck dealing with a person that they don't want to deal with, but they're being stuck from going towards another person. That's exactly what this is. There's a King of Wands who don't want to go towards a different person here. Who I feel like, but I feel like this King of Wands like is very manipulative though. But there's someone this King of Wands is dealing with, which I believe is a lower vibration of Pisces or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. And they're trying to stop this person from going towards a different individual. So I really believe there's a lower vibration of Pisces here that's cross watching on my videos. You could possibly be a reader here, though. If you are a reader, there's someone here, like, trying to manipulate your videos, manipulate your messages, paying someone to, like, sabotage your channel, have you sabotage yourself, doing death magic on you. This shit backfiring. Clarify this, because everything is fine sitting right in front of the Queen of Wands. Clarify everything is fine. You could possibly have a uh, fire in your chart somewhere. I said that earlier, though. You got the Nine of Swords. Give me one more for everything is fine. Child, we got the Empress. The Empress already came out here for the King of Wands. I told you, this is it's this Queen of Wands energy. Somebody want to go toward this Queen of Wands energy. Somebody emotionally manipulated, probably did other type of stuff too to this Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Wands closed out a cycle with them. But the Queen of Wands didn't know if they were dealing with somebody else, which I believe is a low vibrational Pisces or Gemini Libra Aquarius. They're showing their face in this reading. It's probably cross-watching. What's this nine of swords? This queen of wands energy here, which is most likely you high vibration of uh, Pisces out there. You coming out here, this queen of wands. And whoever this low vibration of Pisces or Gemini Libra Aquarius I'm speaking of right now is coming out here, this queen of swords. And this queen of swords is dealing with this king of wands whom you probably met that was already dealing with someone or whom you met and they started dealing with someone after they realized they couldn't get over on you. I don't know. What's the nine of swords though? But I now I feel like you're healing. You're healing from certain things. But you have people in the background trying to do work on you. Queen of Pentacles. At one point in time, I felt like you was very worried about your finances here. But now I feel like I feel like everything is coming up, is on the up and up for you. Yeah, you find out that you're an earth ninja here. Everything is transforming in your life. We got the death card out here twice. What's the Empress? Somebody wanted to put an end to you, child. We got the Ten of Swords out here twice, too. Child, we got the Emperor with the Empress. The Emperor with the Empress, child. What's the Emperor with the Empress here? Oh, my goodness. This is someone's counterpart. Somebody's counterpart here is literally stuck in a situation with the Nine of Wands in reverse. Ooh-wee. Somebody possibly wants another person to let their guard down. What's the Emperor? I just seen the page of cups. This Queen of Wands has her guard up against this King of Wands Emperor energy that's coming out here. With the two of wands, heavy Aries energy. This, possibly, this person could possibly be Aries. Or they just looked at themselves as being a boss here. Child, we got the... What's the Empress? The Emperor with the Empress out here. I just didn't... With the lovers in reverse. Someone did not... Okay, yeah, that's what this is. Ten of Cups with the King of Wands at the bottom of the day. 
Someone didn't choose another person here. Someone had a tough decision between two people, two feminists here, a king of, king of wands, emperor energy. The emperors already came out here for the king of wands. So that let me know this, this, this king of wands energy see this empress as his counterpart. But this, this king of wands is too low vibrational and he's stuck in a situation here. And someone here will not, is not playing the choosing game with them. What's the emperor? Somebody is not playing the choosing game with them. So they decided to move forward. We got the six of cups here. Somebody here is going through a lot. Whoever this emperor is, he has a lot going on. I feel like like someone was a catalyst for another person. You met this king of wands energy to be a catalyst for them. But they're finding it hard to get away from this energy here. Whoever this queen of swords is, she's a Jezebel energy, bro. Hey, like, I don't child. The demon card came out for her. She just might be a shapeshifter. She just might like, she might have a whole nother spirit living inside of her. Something like that, child. It's something like that. <laughs> the demon card came out for her. Matter of fact, give me one more on this demon card. Because, like, what is going on? King of Wands. King of Wands with the high priest at the bottom of the deck. There's a King of Wands dealing with someone else that's attacking them. And it is a Pisces or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I'm telling you. They might even work together to, to like do something to this Queen of Wands. I know that this child, whether this Queen of Wands get with this King of Wands or not, this is someone that was supposed to be their counterpart. Someone went against their own counterpart. Someone rejected their own counterpart. So again, for my high vibration of Pisces, you are this Queen of Wands and you have met your counterpart here. But if you are a low vibration of Pisces, even if you just cross watching, yeah, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Somebody want to be you so bad. Somebody probably know about you. Know that this person wanted to come towards you. And ever since then, they've been trying to find a way to sabotage it. What's the lovers in reverse? Four of Cups. This King of Wands felt like you don't want to deal with him anyway. What's the King of Wands over here with this de uh, demon card? Queen of Swords almost came out. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> we got the moon. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't know what the hell going on here for y'all Pisces, but mm -mm. it's too much. I feel like move forward. Move forward. What's the Emperor and the Empress right here, though? Someone definitely see you as a counterpart, though. We got the Hierophant. Someone sees you as a counterpart. Someone feel like we got the food here with the emperor. This emperor does feel like a fool. Like, this king of wands possibly trying to take a leap of faith to, like, do something different in his life. To become this emperor. And stop holding back from this connection. I don't know, y'all, but if they try the high priestess card, just, just show this face. I'm telling you, there's a Pisces here, bro. Clarify this high priestess. What's this high priestess? There is a low vibration of Pisces here, bro. With the three of wands that do not want no connection to come in. Somebody don't want to let another person go. Someone here is like doing death magic on the king of wands. They probably throwing magic at each other, child. I don't know. Your counterpart stuck in a situation right now. You move forward. Keep dating. Keep focusing on you. This person ain't ready for anything right now. They're not ready for nothing. Keep moving forward, Pisces. My high vibrational Pisces. Keep moving forward. Okay, please, because this man will bring nothing but chaos in your life right now. And this is someone you felt a deep connection with. And for some of you, it's like it's over with. Now it's time for them to uh, have a connection with another person. This contract is going to be voided. And possibly you're going to be end up with somebody else. Okay, give me an outcome here. Give me an outcome for my high vibrational Pisces. What's the outcome in the situation dealing with this mess? We got the nine of wands. Be on guard. Keep moving forward. What's the nine of wands? Keep moving forward. I already feel like you close out cycles with a lot of people anyway, including this King of Wands. And for most of you, I feel like you ain't going back to the past. We got the King of Pentacles in reverse. This man might be sick anyway. What's the Nine of Wands here? This man might be sick. He may have some type of STD or something. We got the King of Cups. What's the King of Pentacles reverse? Some here is not as wealthy as they come off to be. Or they just losing money here. We got the King of Pentacles out here twice. We got the Nine of Cups here. Someone is like losing money here. They losing status, credibility. What's the King of Cups? 
Two of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so you might end up meeting a King of Cups here. You're going to end up meeting somebody else. What's the King of Cups here with Two of Pentacles? I mean, Two of Cups. King of Cups, Two of Cups. I'm not getting ready to close it out, though, y'all. Page of Cups. Or well, there's somebody from the past. What's the King of Cups, Two of Cups, Page of Cups? It's a lot of water energy. This, this might be this King of Wands. We got the Eight of Swords. I don't know. This might be this King of Wands, child. Queen of Pentacles just came out. Somebody got a lot of work to do. Let me just say that. If somebody, if this masculine wants to come back towards you, he has a lot of work to do. That's why I'm saying don't focus on this right now. Focus on dating. Still go out there and date. I'm not too sure who you're going to end up with. I feel like it's meant to be a mystery here, especially if this man does the work up to the point where God felt like now he can be rewarded to come back into your life because y'all do have a contract together. With the Empress and the Empress clarified by the higher Hierophant, y'all have a spiritual contract together. But again, this person, like, he avoided it. He didn't see it. He didn't see you, really. And it caused him to lose you. But that's what I have for you, Pisces. I really do hope you guys enjoy the message. And I'll see you in the next video. I say, mwah.